All right, and welcome back to our next custom visual that we're going to be looking at, which is the hex bin scatter plot. This is a bit of a take of the traditional scatter plot chart that's included with Power BI, but it's a, a slightly different. In this case, with the scatter plot, it's going to be placed into different hex bins. So as you have different data points that are plotted out, they'll be placed in these hex bins, as you see on the screenshot on the right hand side. Now what's slightly different than the traditional scatter plot is rather than relying on a bubble size to indicate some kind of larger value, it's going to be more of a color saturation difference that you'll notice. So the darker the hex bin, the more values that you'll see in that particular area. So it's similar to a heat map in that way. Now this visual is published by Blue Granite. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can actually use this one. All right, first things first, we of course we need to go download the hex bin scatter plot. You'll find it if you go to visuals.powerbi.com. And it was one of the earlier released features, so you'll find it towards the bottom here, the hex bin scatter plot. You'll select that and download the visual. You can, of course, also download the sample. Let's go take a look at, assuming now that we've downloaded it, how we would actually use it. So I have a Power BI desktop instance open. It's completely empty, nothing new that's been brought into it. And so what I'd like to do to start off before we go bring in the hex bin scatter plot is to actually bring in some data. Now, the data that we'll be using we'll be able to find inside of an Excel spreadsheet. And so if you're following along, you'll go up to the top ribbon here underneath the Power BI desktop, and underneath the Get Data section here, you'll select Excel. Now, the data source for this you'll be able to find as part of the links below, but we're going to be using here a file underneath my data section here called Job Salaries. So I'm going to select Job Salaries here. It's going to bring in the data from my Job Salaries Excel spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and select Jobs and hit load. There's no changes I need to make in the query editor, so I'm just going to load this in as it appears now. So this data is already in fairly good shape, so we should be able to use it just as it appears. And so what we'll do is we'll actually start to bring in some of the different values that we have as part of this data set. Now the ones that we're going to start off with here are going to be in the field list. We're going to bring in the average age and the average time at the job that they happen to be at. So you'll see average time at job. We're going to select that one as well. Now we have these two metrics that are brought in. I'm going to bring in also a third one, really not a metric, more of an attribute called position. So I'm going to select position here as well so we can see each of the different positions. And we'll be able to see how long people have been at those positions as well as the average age of folks that are part of the position. Now I mentioned earlier that the hex bin scatter plot is a variation of the scatter chart that's already included with Power BI. So let's take a look at that very briefly and compare the two so you can see really the big difference between them. So I'm going to go ahead and select the standard scatter plot that you'll find over here in the visualization side. And you'll see here's a big a little take on what the visuals should look like, assuming we were using the traditional or the native built-in scatter chart. Now let's take a look and compare this to the hex bin scatter chart. You can see the difference and why you might choose one versus another. So I'm going to go ahead and go and import the custom visual that we've already downloaded here. You'll see import from file over on the right hand side. It'll give me a little warning here about the import. That's fine. You've, known, you've learned about that at this point. So I'll hit import. And then I'm going to go find my custom visual called the scatter plot hex bin. Here we go. It's called scatter hex bin. So I'm going to select that visual and hit open. It's now imported that into my custom visuals library, which I can see over here. And I can select that to go ahead and add it to my design surface. And I'm going to put it side by side with the regular scatter chart so I can compare the difference between the two. Now I'm going to put the exact same data points on the hex bin as I did on the traditional scatter chart so you can see a comparison of the two. I'm going to select average age and average time at the position or average time at job. And then I'll select the position attribute here as well. And so that way I can do a little comparison here between the two. Now what you're noticing here is the darker colors in the hex bin scatter chart are the ones where the most dense values are appearing. So the most density is in those darker color hex bin values. As you resize this, if you make it smaller, you'll see the hex uh, objects do kind of resize themselves. You'll see the density kind of changes depending on the size of the chart itself. But that's kind of how it works. You'll actually bring in the chart, and you'll see here in this case that my two more, most dense value areas are this one here, which looks like it's in the about 35-year-olds and about four years of service inside the values of the data set that I have. So you don't really get that idea here in the traditional scatter chart. It's kind of difficult to see that density here unless there's just so many different bubbles that are sitting on top of each other. That's where the hex bin really does give you some additional value. Now the other component of this that's kind of interesting is that you can add a third metric really to both of these charts. So you can add a third metric here to the traditional scatter chart. I could add in salary, for example. 
I could also add in salary here to the hex bin scatter chart, but notice the difference of how it reacts. In the traditional scatter chart, it increases the bubble size based on that third metric. In the hex bin, it acts a little bit differently. You'll notice when I add that in, it changes the color saturation. And the color saturation appears darker where the higher salary values are. So I'll see over in the top section here, which is really my, my CEO who's been here the longest. He's probably older in age, and that's the fact that he's been in, the, in his career longer. And so I can see kind of a difference here. It's, it's much easier to see the higher values here by the darker catch bin as it is opposed to the larger bubbles, where the bubbles especially are a little dense. They start popping on top of each other, and it's a little bit difficult to actually see those values in the traditional scatter chart. Now, the hex bin does have some customizations. Let's focus in on the, the hex bin for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the traditional scatter chart, and let's focus here. The hex bin does have some uh, additional customizations that you can add to it as well. You'll find the customizations underneath the paintbrush area here. That's the format area. So if I select the format area, we'll take a look at some of the things we can do here. One of the things that we can do is we can resize this, the hex bins. So if we don't really like the size that we're seeing them as here, you'll see there's a size section here. And if we go to the size section, you can see the bin radius can be adjusted from 20 to really whatever you want. So I can add this and make this uh, maybe 30. And you'll see that it actually bumps up the size of the hex bin itself. You can keep going. I can make this 50 if I wanted to. And you can see the hex bin does increase in size here. So that's kind of the idea of what the size property does for me. I'm going to put that back down to about 20 again. You can also change what's actually displayed. You'll see in this display section here, you can change whether or not those dots are shown. Let me, let me turn everything off so you can see one thing at a time what's happening here. So the bottom one you'll see here is rug. A rug is basically a little indicator that appears on the X and Y axis here. As you turn on the rug, you'll see there's little indicators that will appear. You'll kind of rarely be able to see them on the side here in this area. You're seeing these rugs. That's really an indicator to show you where those data points are landing on the X and Y coordinates. That's what a rug is. Of course, the hex bin is the uh, hexagon that we're seeing that's plotted out on the graph. And then the dots are the individual dots that we see laid out on here as well. So you could optionally say, well, don't give me the hex bin. I just want to see the dots alone, which is what you're seeing here. But really, the hex bin does help organize them together a little nicer. Some other things that you have available to you here as well, you can do things like change the color if you wanted to. If you go underneath the general section here, you can change the color that's being shown, as opposed to the standard uh, kind of greenish aqua color that Power BI usually defaults to. I could change to something like a red or an orange, whatever you prefer, and you'll notice that the hex bins change as well. Just some other other things to point out here to you. That you'll see the background. You can turn on a background color if you wanted to, and I could maybe give it a background color of that uh, kind of lighter blue color and change the transparency, make it more transparent if I wanted to, and just kind of give it a little light background there if you wanted to. So that's some of the things that are built in. Of course, you can change the title, turn the title on, turn the title off if you wanted to, increase the text size of the titles. They're easy to do here as well. And you'll notice that the hex bins always auto-adjust to the size of the chart that you have. So real quickly, that was the hex bin scatter plot. You learned a little bit about how to use that and really how it functions. Again, the darker the color before you add in the third measure is showing more density, how many values are in that certain area. And then when I added in that third measure, which in this case was salary, that made the color saturation become darker wherever the higher the values were. So the salary was added. You can see the salary then turned the color saturation darker for the CEO here, basically, is what you're seeing. All right, well, look forward to showing you another custom visual in our next module.